This is News Conference Extra with Conan Nolan. Good morning and welcome to News Conference X-ray special segment of Today in L.A. Weekend. I'm Conan Nolan. Joining us is Congresswoman Judy Chu, Democrat of the San Gabriel Valley, including Alhambra, Sierra Madre, and Claremont. She's a member of the powerful House and Ways Committee and a member of the House Committee on Small Business. So, uh, Congresswoman, thanks for taking the time. First up, your side in Congress is going to the mat on the minimum wage hike to $15 an hour. Now, California is already headed that way. We'll talk about that in a moment. But while the Congressional Budget office says that yes millions of American workers will benefit from a hike in the minimum wage that it will also lead to 1.3 million Americans losing their jobs why isn't that a concern for your caucus as well well I think that uh, at this point we are still adjusting to the $15 minimum wage in California but I tell you the situation nationally is horrendous the federal minimum wage is seven dollars and 25 cents an hour a person could be working themselves uh, to death and yet uh, still making only fifteen thousand dollars a year they cannot survive on that and that's why we are doing this but also we are doing quite a bit to help businesses and in fact in this COVID rescue package, there is a $25 billion fund to help restaurants survive COVID. We also are having an expansion of PPP loans for our small businesses uh, so that more can qualify as well as grants, outright grants to small businesses in our economic injury fund that comes out of the SBA. So we are helping our small businesses but we also really need to help those who are really scraping by and trying to just get food on the table. Uh, it is so important to make sure that they can get through this COVID crisis. Uh, so uh, currently, California's minimum wage is $12 an hour. It will continue to climb each year to $15 an hour. Now, if 15 becomes the national minimum wage, should businesses expect the California legislature to raise ours to $20 an hour? I think that is an issue for us to look at for the future, but not right now when we're dealing with just survival issues. And we've had far too many uh, hits to California, including the cap on the SALT deduction uh, and uh, uh, our COVID uh, uh, impacts are just tremendous over here. So uh, let's do first things first. Okay, so the Senate parliamentarian ruled that the minimum wage hike cannot be done on a majority vote in the Senate, something called reconciliation, uh, that it will need to pass through regular Senate rules, which means your side will need 60 votes to pass. Are you one of those who believe Chuck Schumer, the Senate majority leader, should just ignore the parliamentarian? Who rule, her ruling isn't a legal one, it's an advisory one. I hope that they overrule the parliamentarian, uh, but we will see what happens. Uh, I think the need is definitely there and uh, that it is truly something that can be supported. Uh, right. But we should point out that President Biden, while disappointed with the parliamentarian's ruling, says uh, it should be respected and followed. He, he, he is in disagreement with what you just said. Though he is for a $15 minimum wage. So he is solidly on that side. Uh, uh, correct. So the House on Friday passed the America's Wilderness and Public Lands Act that would nearly double the size of the Santa Monica National Recreation uh, Area. You had a bill as part of that for the San Gabriel Mountains, which I assume is an extension of the monument status that was signed by President Obama a few years back. Thank goodness he did. That was in 2014. And immediately we saw the benefits in terms of greater um, cleanup efforts, the removal of graffiti, better signage, uh, but there were areas that were not covered by that monument because it can only be on federal land. So in the National Recreation Area, in the bill that I have, uh, it includes the foothill areas of the mountains, also the river corridors, and this is so important. You know that 30% of the water for LA areas come from the mountains. 
70% of the open air of LA County is right up there in those mountains. So we need to do what we can for it. Uh, it still has to be approved by the Senate. Finally, I have to ask you, your colleague in the neighboring district, uh, Congressman Adam Schiff, is believed to be a candidate to become the state attorney general for California once Javier Becerra is confirmed as Health and Human Services uh, Secretary. Do you support that, uh, his appointment, and have you made calls on his behalf to Governor Newsom? Uh, Adam Schiff is so qualified for this position. We saw how incredible he was during the impeachment trial. He is articulate, he is passionate, he knows the law inside out, and he was a federal prosecutor. Uh, he knows what the main issues are that are facing the American people. I think he'd be an excellent attorney general, and I support him. I actually have a lot of friends that are going for this, so no, I haven't made uh, a call for any one person, uh, but he is certainly someone that I think is uh, uh, someone that could do California so well by being appointed to this position. Well, so you have friends who are interested in the job as well. Uh, would, would you like to tell us who they are? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I, did. I wouldn't want to uh, do that uh, just now because uh, there are so many, uh, so many wonderful friends that uh, I think are also qualified that uh, uh, I think could, could, could fulfill this position very well. Thank you very much. Congresswoman Judy Chu, Democrat of the San Gabriel Valley, thanks for taking the time. Thank you.